imagination and fantasy. Yeah. There's so much imagination, there's so much fantasy and flair. Imagination and flair. Lack a bit of imagination and fantasy. Imagination and fantasy. Yeah. There's so much imagination, there's so much fantasy and flair. Imagination and flair. Lack a bit of imagination and fantasy. Yeah. And I believe recording. I yeah, think, that means we can start. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Now, Joe, I'm in my room. You're in your room. Yeah. Um, yep. Because we're in Western Australia. And, uh, but the soccer podcast does go. I think we are, Joe. We're um, on the internet now. We, <laughs> we are on the internet. I'm here. Um, the mug of water has returned. The infamous mug of why water. Do you drink, why don't you have a bottle? Well, I, actually, I, have, I always have a bottle. I always have a bottle. But I just filled the mug up for the podcast. I think. Um, Interesting. All right. I'll allow that. But Joe, we've never, we've never done a podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the Soccer Podcast. We've never done a podcast on Zoom by ourselves. Yeah, no, I don't like it, hey. We've always been interviewing people, you know, and it's like... There's a weird feel to it, but we are responsible and we do have an online platform where we should be doing the right thing. That is, so that's true. we don't lose our jobs. <laughs> that is true. I feel like, yeah. I remember when we released the podcast with uh, Dean Evans, we were, we were dangerously close to like... <laughs> not being able to sit outside together that's all right yeah that was like that first time yeah that felt that was first lockdown hey when businesses actually closed down but yeah, yeah we recorded with dean at like five days yeah we did like five o'clock and then at six o'clock you weren't allowed to leave your house yeah <laughs> it'd be like that sometime you it know you really do you really do joe <laughs> but trent what have you been doing in lockdown what have i been doing um oh i just got an email and so on the computer um if it's not soccer I- pod related trent delete it <laughs> I'm just straight straight to the straight to the outbox. Um, I have I've constructed the home gym, um, which consists of a a cross trainer, and yep. like a two dumbbells and a a bar. Oh wait, a, a bar. okay, not bad. Yeah. I, I actually purchased some on Sunday. I, did you? At what time? Yeah, uh, I was like as soon as McGowan made the announcement, but it's still in transit from Amazon. Ah, true. Yeah. So yeah, I just I need to buy like one of those benches now or like the adjustable ones, but they're like two, three hundred bucks. They can be very expensive, Joe. Who would have thought? Now is Rebel Sport open? I was thinking of this. I'm yeah, it sure. is, but I'm not going to like I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to leave my room to completely <laughs> I've been in my room all day because I've been working from home as well. So You have been, Joe. I need to turn my air con on my, actually. Oh, it is on. No, it's not on. It better not joke, make continue. noise that disturbs no, it's, our listeners' strength. It's silent. It's silent. Okay, the aircon's on. Oh, I'm cool now. Um, so, Joe, how is working from home? It just sucks because, like, you're always in the same place. Because I'll finish work, then I'm like, I'll do some reading or I'll play football manager, and that's at my desk. So, I'm at my desk a lot of the time, which sucks. But that is true. It is what it is, Trent. Mm. Have you got a win? Um, You've got a window in your room, haven't you? Yes, I think I think all bedrooms <laughs> have windows, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> not sure which architects you've been speaking to. Well, my but, house is very old. So, I mean, some rooms, actually, no, all rooms have windows. All rooms, all rooms yeah, have who windows. Thought. But Trent, I've been doing some reading. No, we joke. Um, I've actually got, got my book right here. Um, got it. Tim Parks, A Season in Verona. Ooh. Interesting book. Okay, tell me. So, it's about Tim Parks, who's mm. a UK journalist, who's a traveling through Italy, supporting Verona every week. Right. Okay. So, yeah, it's interesting. Mm. Yeah, and it's interesting because the Verona fans are pretty racist. So, yeah, it's are interesting. They? Oh, okay. It's an yeah. inter- interesting fan base then. Mm, yeah, and I've just got up to the part where they're versing Lazio, who are also racist. So, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be really interesting, Joe. Um, <laughs> no, because it's Is there talking about a bit. And, yeah, any bits. So, I've got to the bit where out. the players are walking out onto the pitch. Mm-hmm. And Sinizo Mihalovic, who's a Serbian... Yes. The week before, he got suspended in the Champions League for calling Vieira certain names. Right. And because in Serie A, he can still play because like he's red carded for Champions League. Okay. So Sneza, yeah. Sneza Milhalovic walks onto the pitch and the Hellas Verona all for us like clap him onto the pitch. <laughs> so they're quite happy with his actions, which are deplorable. But So, I mean, at that point, if you get a red card in the Champions League for, for racism... Yeah, Should you not be able to get two games? Should the Italian FA step in and say, mate, probably just sit out the next few games in the Serie A? Trent, it's the Italian FA. Your, your answer's right there. <laughs> the, there needs to be some ref, some reformations in the Italian FA, Joe. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I think it's more than reformations, Trent. It's the whole system there. But 
I, th- I think we can have a whole different podcast on that. Maybe we should do a um a, the Italian the history of Italian football podcast purely based off the books you've read, and I'll just I've actually I'll just try I've in. read. I finished two books this year already. I'm on to my two third. Books. Oh, very good job. Yeah. But yeah, on Sunday as well, Trent, I did a new gym schedule. A new gym schedule, tell me. Yeah, um, so I actually did a whole like thing here. A oh, well, oh my schedule. goodness. That's very corporate of you, Joe. It's, it's very yeah. accountant of you, if you will. Like, I, I thought I did like a three-day weekly schedule. So um, oh. there's like day one, well, yes. day one, mm-hmm. day two, day three, which is lovely. And then... <laughs> this is the most accountant thing I've ever day seen. One. <laughs> so... Good, day one, okay. chest, chest, back, shoulders, legs, biceps, triceps. And then I've got all the pictures there of like which activities <laughs> I should do. So do you have all this equipment in, your, in the garage? Uh, no. So okay. I, like, I, I made this at like 10 a.m. on Sunday. And then <laughs> we, we were in lockdown two hours later. So Okay. Oh, so you made this before? Time. You made this 10 a.m. on Sunday? Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. Before yeah. lockdown. Okay. Because I thought instead of going to the gym, oh, um, what's the word? plan to go to the gym no what's it when you delay something what's what's that word postpone not postpone there's something else okay um anyway yeah i, I, I put i postponed going to the gym so i could make this okay so like day two you put the gym on hiatus yeah for like an hour so i could make <laughs> this <laughs> okay, okay and then it turned out procrastinate you're procrastinating well i was procrastinating so i made this instead of going to the gym and then yeah. the gyms were locked by the time i finished up um, but yeah, day two, if you can see watching on YouTube, yes. legs, triceps, biceps, chest, back and shoulders. So hang on, and, hang on, hang on, hang on. sorry, sorry. Legs. Yep. You've just got legs yep. as one, just one thing. Just legs. So what, what, what do you do? You got to be you like, your legs, Trump. there's lots of, Joe, there's, I can, I can do a whole workout. Well, if, two, if you look, if you look there, it's, there's a certain muscles highlight. A leg press machine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then there, so the, your quads, the muscles are highlighted red. Yeah, the, the the quad, the quadricep muscle. So your legs. Um, that's day two. It's a man who's never had osteitis pubis. Oh, never. <laughs> then day three, mm-hmm. um, we've got <laughs> sho- shoulders, back, chest, legs again, triceps and biceps. So there you go. <laughs> that's good. So, okay, so this is a so let's just say we could go to the gym. <laughs> This is, yep. you go, you're going to the gym three times a week. Yeah. Three to four times. I, I didn't do a fourth day because okay. I think like every second week I go four times. So mm, mm. yeah. So like on Saturday so night I'm I on that fourth day, I'll just go back yeah. to the first day. Oh, so like a super set. This would be cold. Why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I was going to say, because on Saturday night, I didn't go out. I was like, you know, no, I didn't tired. Sunday morning. Went I to got the gym. a good pizza extra, on extra Saturday. Gym, extra gym session. So. Oh, good pizza, did you? Love that, Trump. Yeah. Where'd you go, to, oh, some new, new one on Scarborough. Scarborough? Hmm. Yeah. It's like a little takeaway away one. We went to Davo's house. Yep. Had, had a good, good old pizza there. No, it was beautiful. I think it's did, all like... Did, did oh. Davo have any um, excess gelato lying around? Oh, no, he didn't, unfortunately, which pretty dog, but it is what it is, Trent. For our listeners... Uh, <laughs> Do we say we said that David works at an ice cream shop? Maybe we said it before. Did we? Well, at least I'm like they're aware now, so they are aware, Joe. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, have you been up to anything exciting, Trent? No, nothing uh, exciting. No. So on Sunday, uh, mm. whilst we were hearing that we couldn't leave the house, I, we made some pizzas. Um, that were they? They did come out good. It was a because we, we've got figs in the garden, so uh, oh, it was I've got a, it was, next door. They're beautiful. Mm, so good. Fig and fig uh, pancetta and oh I can't remember the third one. Fig on the pizza. Uh, yeah, fig on the pizza. Pe- yeah, fig pizza is can, it is. Can you so do good. That? I can. I, I got a photo. You know what? I got a photo. It makes well, it makes I, it all better. I can't. I can't taste the photo, Trent. Like you could. But, you but the photo is good. Nah, the photo is good. All right. So, oh, the contrast is terrible. Yeah. Just <laughs> like contra- still for a second. No, you can't tell. No. Nah. That's oh, not no. helping. Oh, you can oh, kind of make out oh, a pizza. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Listen, I wouldn't order it in a shop. I'll, like, I'll, I'll say that much. The um, camera doesn't do it justice. We'll put it in the Discord, yeah. just so yeah. everyone knows. I actually ordered the burrata. Oh, had, like nice, nice. Yeah, some some fancy cheese on it. It melts. It's mm. no. So burrata is cheese. Doesn't have cheese on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you ordered the burrata well, the, pizza. The, the pizza is <laughs> called a burrata. 
So it has okay. the cheese on it. So okay, you know, burrata is like twenty dollars for like a ser- like a serve. Yeah, it was the most expensive pizza on the menu. So yeah, that, that, that would make sense actually. There's a there's a cheese place. They just do cheese. Like, they make cheese in uh, Eastwick Park, the Park Centre, and okay. a, a burrata was like a little packet. Like you buy like a big bocconcini burrata, twenty five dollars. Yeah, it's so, beautiful though. Yeah, you pay for what you get, I suppose, Trump. Do Joe, you do. Um, besides that, Joe, uh, the PS Five is getting a work. It's going to work in, um, and so much else. My, not much else. My my Monza save is going all right now. I'm, I'm like a, a solid mid table team now. Solid mid table, okay. I reckon yeah. another ten years until I win Serie A, but we're getting there. There's a guy who's um in WA has like put every WA like state league player into like a database to make yeah. There's, like, like a, there's a, there's a huge thing like like football manager and all that. Mm. Like every state league plays in it, like. Because I've got like the MPL WA like that league yeah. in my save. Yeah, I'm in the year like 2000, like 27, I think. Yeah. For some reason, it popped out that like Sam Thornley, our mate, is like captain of like Inglewood. <laughs> Joe, can you find me? Because I did put my no. name down to be in the database. No, nah, because like like you're in like Division Eight or whatever, so it doesn't go. It's, it's, it probably does. But it, it does. It literally does. It's Division like Two. The more, the more leagues you have, the slower the game gets. Essentially, uh, so you haven't loaded in. You haven't loaded in below the MPL. Is that I, I, what, haven't got, I haven't I haven't got Sunday League dip two or whatever. <laughs> um I'm not I don't want to do the podcast anymore. Yeah. All right. That was a decent episode. <laughs> <laughs> um but Trent, there were some games, I'm pretty sure. There were Joe. Um I believe that so the Glory played twice, but uh West United and Melbourne Victory played on Saturday, which was the first game we didn't cover. No, what was the first week? game? There was a game on Friday. Friday. Is that, that MacArthur? Friday game. Oh, MacArthur. Oh, oh. Uh, Western Sydney and Newcastle. Jets. I feel like we already talked about that. Oh, no, we wouldn't have. No, we wouldn't have. It was a Friday. We don't record every three days. Oh, we just, I think I've got my... Um, I've got my... <laughs> my notes are out of order. Western Sydney, Newcastle, oh. Jets. Here we go. Friday night game. Friday night lights. Yeah. It was 1-1. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're That's about. That's about it. Um, no, nah, this is like the second time they've played each other. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that either. Like we've we've, we've actually Glory played a few games now, um, but oh, we'll get to Glory later. But yeah, like, yeah, you know, um, but like we've only played like a certain amount of teams, and like Jets and the, the Western Sydney and Newcastle are just playing each other all the time. It seems. Like, were there any key highlights in this game? Uh, so, Valent. So okay, Newcastle squad's not very good, but Valentin they're playing some were, decent football. But they're playing their well. Team. They are. Um, like O'Donovan was playing pretty terribly leading up to this game. Uh, he did get his name on the score sheet. Good on him. Get it out um, there. But I'm just surprised how well the Jets now played. He's now an Australian, by the way. Oh, is he? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder he if... He is uh, a, a citizen. A ci- a ci- <laughs> that is what they're called, Joe. Um, yep. I wonder if the Jets will look to bring in... Or well, is he a citizen at the start of the year? Or now he is. Now, okay. So maybe they've opened like, up like, a, as of a like visa 26 spot. January. All right. So they've potentially opened up a visa spot. Yeah. Um, no, but I'm um, surprised how good the Jets play, and that I just don't think their team is very good at all. Um, but they do, they do very impressive. They're doing well. Um, which party do you reckon Roy O'Donovan will vote for in the uh, forthcoming election? I'm going to say Liberal. Liberal. Mm. I've seen voting for the Greens actually. He seems like <laughs> one of those characters who like looks like they're a Liberal voter, but yeah. we vote for the Greens. Uh, he's actually a Greens. Yeah, you got a good that. point there. You got a good point there. Actually, Joe, like now Newcastle, I remember. Newcastle is like on the coast. Mm-hmm. The coast, they're like very green people, whatever. I mm. reckon he'd, he'd vote for the Greens. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's, I can see that. I can see him walking into um the voting, the voting uh like tent, booth, the booth, booth. Yeah. booth, booth, and he's wearing like a singlet, thongs. You know, he's getting into that Australian Board lifestyle. Shorts. Board shorts, Board even. Shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, this game rings a bell because boy, well, it, it now it's ringing a bell in my mind. Because so it happened Friday, weeks ago, that's it, why. Yeah. <laughs> so my brother, my brother's wedding, I picked yeah. up on Friday. This is what I did on Friday. I picked up the cake. It was like cake testing. Could pick what flavor? Yeah. It was like six flavors. I picked them up. He was staying at the Crown for some reason. Um, brought into the Crown. And the game, the Fri- Western Sydney and Jets was on the TV while we're doing the cake tastings. This is, oh. this is important. Oh. Oh. There's something in uh, that, I reckon. Now I'm surprised. Daniel Margush is actually very good, and yeah, he's an Ollie Roos keeper. Well, he was in the like the Ollie Roos setup. 
Yeah, but I know I've heard he's had a lot of injury problems and like he was at the glory for like a few months and kind of popped out of nowhere. I'm happy they're giving him a chance though. Trent, all I'm saying is I heard a hell of a lot of rumours regarding COVID and um, all those rumours came out false. So uh, yeah, I've also it, heard might these the, it might be the same with your goalkeeper plug. <laughs> it could be, Joe. Anyways. It really could be. Um, but one thing on Western Sydney, because I think like in parts... The Jets outplayed them, but I mean, Western Sydney have quite a lot of chances. The team they have, Western Sydney should be playing better, I think, and getting better results. Um, I feel like everyone thinks Kyle Robinson, all the signings, they're going to be amazing. But And I said at the start, I said in my preview, the only thing I said that was correct was that they might not be that good. And, you know. I reckon since they've signed uh, Mitchell Duke yes. um, for the rest of the season, mm-hmm. he'll, he'll take up Simon Cox's spot, who hasn't been, hasn't yeah. done anything of note yet it's this been season. Pretty, pretty I, I think... poor. They'll probably win a few on the trot now. So Cox actually started off the bench. Um, they started with Muller, Troisi, and Abini up front. I still yeah, think Abini's yeah. better off the bench. I reckon. I reckon Cox could. Well, it's going to be hard to fit them all in. Abini just doesn't look like his like you know when you're warming up and you don't feel like ready to run yet. He looks like that. He's just like, always. He doesn't, do a, he, he doesn't do a good warm up. <laughs> He's always not ready. <laughs> yeah. He's dangerous off the bench. When I see him warming up off the bench, if I'm if I'm uh, Craig Deans. Or, and or I tired. see, yeah, or tired. But if I'm Craig yeah. Dean's Newcastle Jets coach, and I see Bernie Beanie coming off the bench, I'm changing. I'm changing tactics. I'm saying, you know, look, something, something's, something's going to happen because you know he's scary. He's scary off the bench. But, but starting, but maybe, I don't think so. May, maybe the, um, what's the Wanderers coach? Maybe what's his name? Uh, Carl Robinson. Robinson. Maybe mm-hmm. Robinson is he's like bluffing the opposition. Like he'll sub on Beanie, but then he'll like attack on the other side. Maybe could be. Really could be. See, that's what I do as a coach. I just, like, I do that. <laughs> you do that? Yeah, I just set up traps like that. I like how the Jets can play really good counter-attacking stuff, but actually keep the ball They've quite well. a few times, yeah. But they I actually, yeah, so they show both sides. They show both sides, which yeah. I'm impressive with. Keanu Bacchus was a man of the match, which is good to see. He's a good player. He's always been a good player. Um, him and Dorans do run that midfield, um, and they do play good stuff, but it, they're just missing that. When you watch a team, it's like, oh, they're a really good team. They don't. Yeah, they don't they're missing Mitchell Duke. That's what they're missing. <laughs> yeah. where, did, where did Mitchell Duke go? Somewhere. Um, I think he went to Saudi. Oh, Saudi. He chased the bag for a bit. Did he get the bag? I'm sure he did. Yeah, well, for like six months or so, which is, yeah, still enough to set up the rest of your life pretty much. But yeah, it, was, oh, it was during this game, Andy Harper said the word in its inexactitudes. And, inexactitudes. And I think he was talking about. He was talking about the rules, like the general rule. Maybe it wasn't this game, but he's, I was like, sure, that's not a word. I looked it up. It's, it's a bloody word. In the exact truth. Get it out there. I'm pretty sure Archie Thompson said a word which wasn't a word, and I was going around Twitter a bit. But Archie Thompson said a anyway. lot of things. He said a lot of things, Joe. Yeah, too many things, but yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that when we talk about the glory, I reckon. Uh, so that was 1-1. Um, yeah, next game. That was, that was Friday night. Okay. Yeah. Saturday was Sydney MacArthur. Okay. Yeah, before that, A-League triple header. Uh, yeah. Has, has that been like, done before? It has. It, it definitely has. Um, I don't think so. No, it has. It has. Cause I, no, surely not. There's been times when there's been a ga- like when the Glory play at home on a Saturday night. Oh, two yeah, games, always another one, two yeah. games before and we're the third. I feel like that doesn't count though. <laughs> if it doesn't include the Glory, it doesn't count. That's fair no, enough. It doesn't mean, no, because like, time zones, like, no, nah, that doesn't uh, count. This, oh, all so this was, time zone, this one. Ah, uh, you're right, Joe. You, you're Apart on something Brisbane, who are one hour. Yeah. You're right. Um, now, um, this so yeah, game a- was a good triple game. Header. Triple header. Mark Millen gets sent off very early. I feel like he forgot that he was going to get foul, sent off. Stupid foul. Yeah. Just don't, he, he just put pressure, don't touch him. But yeah, just hope, just hope for the best. And yeah. I feel like he knew what he was doing, but he didn't know who was going to get sent off. It just looked bizarre. No, yeah. oh, he, he was just clumsy by him. Like, a captain should have been making those mistakes, especially a guy of his experience as well. Mm, you're right, Joe. Like, now that's this... me, just, you just put pressure on, put pressure on. Mm. You don't touch him, just put pressure. Just, like, shout at him, like, Scott Robert. What's the Robinson guy from Liverpool? Andy. Andy Robinson? Andy Robinson. Yeah, well, he, when Marcus Rashford was having a shot on goal, he just shouted. Like, Rashford you know how to do that. Though. You know how to do that. It, it's, it's one of those rules that never gets pulled up on. If I was, I, when I've refereed indoor soccer before, Referees I've, don't call it. I've booked people for shouting. You can't shout. It's very unsportsman. Especially indoor soccer is like closer. Who cares? Pick it, Who cares? Pick it up. <laughs> um, now, it's like, it's, the, like the, it's like the goalkeeper's six second rule. It, it it's, never gets cold. 
Is mm. it, I'm not even sure that's in the rule book, to be fair. I think it is. I think it is. I used to love shouting at the referee uh, when I coach uh, junior 11 aside, like can't shout the seconds. I feel like it's just super obnoxious. That's horrible. To <laughs> but you get to let the referee right. know it's six seconds. I'm not, yeah, but it's just one of those rules that everyone knows it's, it, it doesn't, it's not a rule. Then when like, but then when sometimes the linesman picks up, like that a goalkeeper's keep the ball out of bounds, I'm like, really? Like, I don't know, keep it out of his box. You know, his foot's out of the box. I'm like, really? You know? Yeah, well, that's a rule. Like, it's, <laughs> I don't know, it just is. It just works that way, you know? Now, one thing I want to say, Bozza at halftime, it was nil nil at halftime. Now, obviously, MacArthur really with a man down didn't really, they at times were in the game. They had a few chances, actually. Yeah, it, it, it really did sort of kill the game for them. Bozza reckons, because uh, King at left back was getting loads of the ball in the first half because they had a man down. And I think I remember like, listening to this. Yeah, Bozza was like, sub on a number 10. So sub on, uh, or like a mid, attacking midfielder, a creative midfielder, and sub on Neuenhoff at left back so he can create more. And he's like, oh, when it was like Manchester United we moved down to that, that opposition down to 10 men, they subbed on like bloody, oh, who was it? Like Carrick at left back or something. Was it? Mm. I, don't, I just don't think that idea works at all. I, th- I feel like I like his thinking, but it's not going to work. And they didn't I feel like it. it's, that, it's that unorthodox that it'll work and it'll catch out some teams. Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate the sentiment behind it. Not the sentiment. I appreciate the, uh, the idea. But uh, so Sydney did not rolling them. Now, we've, we've talked about Barbaris as being pretty average. But Hodge yeah. hasn't been very good coming back from the ACL, to be fair, because he was really good in the Champions League. I don't feel like Sydney haven't been play, playing to his strengths though, because mm. in ACL was more on the break, but now Sydney can like sit back and control games like they've been doing for the last two seasons. And I don't know, strike in from behind. I don't think it suits them too much, especially when they want yeah. to like control a game for ninety minutes. Oh, that's a great point. That is a great because in the ACL they were very. I've been killing it today with my. You really, been <laughs> you really have. You really have. Yeah, because that that's a great point because in the ACL they were mm. counter attack suits for harder. Yeah. A league, they're keeping the ball more. Doesn't suit Bahadur. So, Joe, you're on something there. Now, I've noted, yeah. uh, half time was extended due to thunderstorms. Very interesting. Now, no, Derby- listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> okay, tell me, tell me. Half time, I was feeling tired. So, like, I decided I'd just, like, close my laptop and have a nap. Yeah. I'll wake up, like, 45 minutes after I open my laptop and, like, half time, oh, the second half was just starting. <laughs> what so a, good, that's hey. perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that as well. So, yeah. No, it was, a, it was a lovely surprise. Oh, that's funny. Um, I think Derbyshire, Derbyshire scored an offside goal in the second half, I believe, because I know he did. Down. He did, and it was close. It was an offside goal. Um, so I mean, I did say he killed the game for Macarthur, but if Derbyshire scores here, game, yeah, interesting, interesting. Interesting would have been on, yeah. Um, so old mate Wood came on. What's his name? What was his first name? Patrick Wood. Mm. He scored a scored he a brace. Was he was the bad. Shittest brace you could ever see. Yeah, it was so, so like, bad. The, the thing, the, the thing is, Trent. Like he'll get yeah, like hyped me. up now. He'll be yeah. like, oh, like Ollie Ruse, like two goals in like what one game. Like, yeah. Both goals were like they were. Come on. So Federici should have held on for his first. Oh, was, first yeah. was the tap in. Yeah. Uh, the second one, all it showed was he can like control the ball like dead. Mm. You know, Joe, I agree with you there. Very average brace, but it is a brace nonetheless. Um. And then we we finally saw some magic from uh, Milos Ninkovic for the third. Oh, I that goal was, was sick. a good goal. Yeah, I forgot about that. Goal. Good goal. No, it was a um, deft touch. Uh, shout outs to uh, Milos. Yeah, shout outs to Milos. I'm Big sure ups. he's watching. Of, oh, of course, Joe. Of course. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, but no, that, that was a yeah, good game. Um, that was a good game. Wasn't Sydney, good. The, the weather wasn't good at all. Uh, Sydney somewhat back on track, but I feel like the red card kind of really swung that game. Now, yeah, after that. I'd go, I'd go that far. You go that far, yeah. After that was Western United Melbourne victory. Can I just I say have... game of the round? You love a nil or draw, Joe. By... No, no, no. Did, did you watch this game? I did, I did, I did. Then, like, surely you can agree <laughs> on that. Uh, I... Two crossbars, two VAR non-goals given. Yeah, yeah. Great. I mean, I did, I did enjoy watching the glory in Melbourne City, but yeah, I, I might give it to you. In the first... In the first... What, 40 minutes? Oh, let's say 50. West United had five yellow cards. It's true. It's, it was feisty. It, was fi- it, had a bit of, it had a bit of grinta to it. You know? It did. And I think the, the VAR really killed this game. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And the, like the both offsides, like, my thing is with VAR, if it's, 
it was brought in to like stop obvious errors. Mm. These goals weren't obvious errors. They're what minuscule centimeters, which plays off offside by a hairline. Like, mm. just give the goal, fam. Like, just killing the game. I think so. I think this probably actually killed the game for me. Um, so I didn't enjoy this game as much because I don't, I don't don't like VAR stoppage. Mark Rudan wasn't happy, um, mm. as as he shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, you know. It's tough, Joe. They were hairline decisions. Yeah, and it just it, it didn't ruin a good game of football. Mm. It just like the game could have opened up more if like a goal was scored, then victory going to probably press up high, and then who knows what yeah. happens after that. Yeah, because it was so but it's no, like Borussia. Western United were like rubbed, I feel like. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, because so Borussia was offside goal in the first half, Pereira offside in the second. Um, a few things about Melbourne victory. Laurie Latanzio yeah. up front because... Um, Oh mate, my mate, uh, uh, Gested was injured. wasn't bad. Can I say victory is shit? Like I'll just go that far and say that. Like I'm like you guys beat Glory a week ago, but you yeah, guys, like, victory fans. I'm sorry, but it's not. I, I reckon if you're lucky, six. But I reckon realistically. <laughs> Actually, realistically, did we? Did we? Um, good. to be fair, we we recorded the morning of the Glory victory game, so we haven't talked about that. Yeah, no, nah, we'll, we'll skip it. I reckon. Uh, yeah, who cares? So, oh, <laughs> one thing about I noted: Ryan Shotten, he's a bully. He's a big bully. He looks like a rugby. Is that the centre midfielder? No, the centre back with the ponytail, the dreads. They've got a centre midfielder with like Butterfield. Big, Butterfield. Look, he, look, he looks Butterfield. like a, he looks like, he a, looks rugby, like player. a rugby player. I don't like him. <laughs> like especially imports. You don't want to import someone who just looks like, well, like he, isn't, he doesn't look elegant. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> They've imported just just everyone from England. Um, you want your imports to be elegant, like McManaman, elegant. Yeah, Butterfield and Shotton are not elegant. They're the opposite. If you if you want Butterfield, go down to like the South Sydney Rabbitohs and get their half back all. <laughs> I reckon there's a bloke called Butterfield for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. <laughs> He's a comedian in Australia. I think. To be fair though, Shotton's Shotton's interview um, at halftime sounded like a nice guy. Didn't sound I like, like his a, accent. Yeah, mm. it's strong, bold. No, like I'm judging a book by its cover here, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. So Rojas hasn't been good at all, I don't think. Uh, yeah, in my opinion. Brim has been good. But I think Brim was good against the Glory. Uh, 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 Brim oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Bruno Mars playing right wing. Uh, Lawton. Uh, he looks like... Br- Lawton looks like Bruno Mars. All right, I'll, 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 I'll try to see that next week, but yeah... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Bruno Mars playing. Bruno Mars. I said this last season. He looks like Bruno Mars. Yeah. Um, all right. But I want to see Gested, McManaman. I want to see them all back, but I still don't think Victory, I'm going to go anywhere. Yeah, it's too bad they don't have hamstrings. So, Victory, you're screwed, boys. I'm That's sorry. True. Oh, and the Spanish bloke for West United, Iker. Uh, what's his no, no, no. I- so, so say I- his name. Don't, don't do what Archie Thompson did and call him Iker all game because he can't pronounce his last name. I'm saying his full name. Eka. No, he's, no, no, no. I right, say his last name. I'm saying his full name. I'm saying his first name first. Okay. Okay. What's his last name? Guatrena. Yeah, I'll give that. At least you'll make the effort, unlike Archie Thompson, who just called him Eka all game. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, Andrew Durante, 400 games. Con- congrats to the big man. Now, I like how we squared up to the young fellow as well from Western. Well, in his team, I didn't no, miss no, him. I no, must no, admit. No, 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 from from from, yeah, from Victor, victory. Sorry. Do you know who it was? Yeah, it was like Ryan or something. It was a it was a young fella. Would have been, might have been, yeah, might have been Ryan. I mean, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Four hundred games in the A League, you know, you can do what you want. Yeah. Well, like Durant was in the right, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. One, but one, yeah, one more thing before Bath United. One more thing. Uzcock, I've never seen a centre back transition to midfield this easily. Pretty good. I think it's pretty easy. Like, depending how you want your midfielder to set up, Trent, I think if you want a good defensive-minded mm. midfield, just try to send it back in there. Just make sure you can pass the ball. And mm. what do you know? It's a good point, Trent. Because Trent, Trent, like, the best, mid, the best centre-backs mm-hmm. you always used to be uh, midfielders, like, in their youth. In their youth. That's, that's true. Yeah. Um, case in point, uh, Leonardo Bonucci. Was he, uh, what, what position do you play in midfield? midfielder? He was a midfielder yeah. or centre-midfielder. That's why he's passing so good as a central defender because he used to be a midfielder. True. So I reckon for the, our the youth, the, the national team, youth teams, or whatever, 
the youth of today. Instead of training, don't train centre backs. Just train midfielders, and then when they're twenty one, turn them into centre backs. You're right. If they can hit a ball, centre back. That's easy. You don't even need to defend. Just pass the ball. Now we have got uh, one, two, three games to talk about. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Do, do, do you need to leave in twenty minutes still? Uh, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Well, twenty minutes. We're probably wrapped up by then. Yeah. All right. Uh, How long have we been going for? Brisbane Adelaide. Talk to me about this. Okay, let me go down to my notes on Brisbane Adelaide. Here we go. Brisbane Adelaide. I was having a pizza. I was having a pizza during this game. <laughs> you, you were Joe. So I did watch a bit of this. Mm. Now, Brisbane, I believe, are top of the table. Let me let me just yeah. table Brisbane, top of the table. Okay. Trent, before we get into this, can I say yes. a word from our sponsors? <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for and reminding you, me. You can, and, and you can just plug the video there. Insert video. So that's that's when I I made it in the video. That's why I put it in the video. Okay. Yeah. You, like you just need to find this place in the video when you're editing. But yeah. Okay. Actually, I might. <laughs> no, it's like I won't put a time stamp. I don't even know what time we are. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Sponsors. Boom. This episode of the Soccer Podcast is sponsored by our official sponsor, Streamgate Live Streaming Australia. They've been live streaming since 2008, specializing in custom-built stream pages, pay-per-view and multi-language streaming. They can cater to large online conferences with multiple simultaneous streams and destinations including all social media channels servicing clients Australia-wide. Go to streamgate.com.au or find them on Instagram. And this podcast is also especially sponsored by arrowsport.com.au. If you want to grab yourself special custom-made soccer jerseys, polos, whichever team where you want, visit arrowsport.com.au. Basically, prices are $55 for a jersey, fully customised with name, number, or $70 for customised jersey, shorts, and shipping isn't included. That's arrowsport.com.au. Brisbane. All right. D- yeah. Dylan Wenzel Halls. Now, oh, so I- Brisbane, I, at the start of the year, I think their first, first, maybe first result wasn't very impressive, or one, one of the first two, or the performances weren't that good. They're actually playing really good stuff. Wenzel Halls, we said at the start of the year, if he can, you know, actually play, uh, you know, he's going to be. He's going to be I, really I reckon he's the next Aussie off over to uh, overseas, wherever. I do think so. I think this has been a long time coming. Like, I feel like if he played all of like if he started all of last year, because um, I remember I think he fell out under Fowler, if I remember. Like Fowler didn't really like him. Why not? Yeah, like let's say that he could have exploded a little bit earlier and caught, gone overseas earlier, but I feel like he will. He will go. Um, no, Jay O'Shea scored hard. a banger as well. Yeah, he's worked hard. Did I say that? Yeah, good on him. I'm getting out there. Jay O'Shea scored an absolute banger um, from outside the box. And he doesn't score many. Too. Wow. Yeah, so Jay O'Shea doesn't score many. Um, so but I feel like most A-League players don't score many. Like, even the strikers don't score many. <laughs> That's why um, 10 goals a season and they're a striker. Like, come on. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Now Brisbane do play the old. Um, they've uh, they've all most early teams have stolen from Tony Bobovich. And play oh, the three four three. Or? Yeah, the three four the three, three four, four three. three. Yeah, yeah. Um, Scott McDonald, Dan Zaki, their import. He's mm. he's cool. He's like he's always he's got lots of flair. He's attacking. Um, he's he's re- playing really good. Akbari, the so young. You want young you boy. want elegant imports. Yep. You don't want you don't want big burly men who will just hurt people. For sure. For sure. Um, but I feel like they've Brisbane have found like a good starting eleven, or you know, starting a good 13, no, 14 be, players. I think they're the team to beat so far. Mm, they're re- really impressive. Now, flip side to like Adelaide, they, they are first, so they are the team to beat. But <laughs> I think they will be the team to beat going on. <laughs> they literally are the team to beat. Now, Adelaide, they are the most inconsistent team in the league. Like one game amazing, one game terrible, and <clears throat> they were pretty poor. They were poor defensively uh, against Brisbane. One thing I noted, Ross Aloisi is in charge of set pieces. So Yeah, it's always the assistant coach doing that. I, f- I want to know if they score off a... No, I do, I do know that. I do know that. I just want to oh. see more Ross like in fights. That's what, I'm, that's what I put out that note for. So it has nothing to do with set pieces then? No. <laughs> I, want, I, want like, I want an opposition coach to like, I don't know, point out something, like abuse Ross because he did his set piece and then Ross gets off the bench and... I just want a bit more, a bit more of that, Joe. You know, you're asking a little bit too much there, but uh, we never know in the A League. That's the magic um, of it. That's true. Now, Adelaide had a few injuries. Um, as I said, or well, I didn't say that. They had a few injuries, but they're very inconsistent. Now, Nathan Constantopoulos, yeah, um, is uh, is playing. So I can pronounce his name, but he also scored in the 82nd minute. Uh, Constantopoulos. The Constantopoulos. Constantopoulos. He's got the, e- the easiest Greek name out there. That's true. And one thing I was going to say in Adelaide. When they when they played these games, if they played poorly under pressure, Coletti 
and Dorigo do not look good at all. But when they play well, they look really good. It's a bit of a weird... Can't really work it out. A bit inconsistent. Maybe those guys are the guys that make the team tick. And if they don't play well, Trent, the whole team doesn't play well. Yep, that's a good point. Um, and yeah, I think like they've always had... I think going back two years under... Um, two years old, Jakobsen and Elsie have just caused problems defensively that they can't defend at times. Um, and I feel like they're never going to be a great team with Jakobsen and Elsie there. Or some de- defensive structure, Joe. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Maybe the assistant coach can swap that out. <laughs> I'd love Ross to run some low block, some low block defending. Go on, Ross. Well said. Um, should we, shall we move to the next game? Yes, Joe. That was the Wellington and Central Coast on Sunday. I forgot this was on. I won't lie. I, I was making my gym schedule. Making you, you were, Joe. You were. Um, I had this on in the background. I was on the background. Now, Wellington actually played. Oh, for the heard. last 20 minutes. <laughs> um, they actually played probably better than what they have been. But the Mariners, I don't know if they'll be hard done by here. Um, no, like yeah. the commentators were saying that they did play well and they, uh, like, they'll play worse and win games during the season. Yeah, for but sure. This was just one of those situations where it does not happen. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it was. I know, like, weather was pretty putrid. Um, Devia scored as a good goal, but it was just like one of those fizzed across in the in the rain. Um, yeah, just good placement. It's not all about power, Trent. Because Beers is on form. We do know this. Is he out of form now? That second goal, Trent. Uh, not sure uh, about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, no, is he? No, he was just caught in no man's land, and then yeah, it's one of those ones where like you can't commit, or if you don't commit. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But Neither no, here nor Robert there, Joe. Satirio. Here yeah, nor there, that's... <laughs> Trademark. Is that, is that a catchphrase? Neither <laughs> here nor there. Um, yeah, so probably, probably yeah. Mar- Mariners, I think, did play quite well. But this was the sort of Wellington finding their form in front of goal, I'd say, because they've kind of been a bit lackluster. So next yeah, game, uh, it's either they're going to score five or not yeah, score reckon, at all. Yeah, they'll probably just lose. Probably. Um, Hamed is finding his feet. Got the potential to be good. Potential to be yeah, a very good athlete. He's still adjusting to like the climate and everything. But yeah. No, like all, all the best of Hemed. Yeah. <laughs> Hemed. Um, and not much else to add on that one, Joe. Oh, Kowal scored again. He did. And he's, yeah. I think I, he's my I favorite like player. Valentino Just Uel is my favorite player. Your Kowal. Side note. Yeah, side note. Um, all the top scorers in the A-League are young people. It's true. And a lot of them are glory players. That just we happen to be scoring a lot of goals. Like I'll get it up. Top scorers: uh, Dylan Wenzel, Holes, D'Agostino, yep. Ali Kual. Yeah. Uh, then Bruno's there. Then Armiento, Valentino, Yule, Dylan Pereyas, Jamie McLaren. They're literally all all young Australians, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good um, point. Getting out there finally. Now, so the glory lost to Melbourne Victory in the dire moments of the game. Yeah, just a, yeah uh, collapse. Yeah. I don't know what happened in the past. Who cares? That was a tip. Yeah, <laughs> that was a typical like uh, a typical old school glory. Shit, Kenny Lowe. Typical shit performance. Yeah, against. Oh no, it Vic- was a shit. No, victory played pretty good into the last ten minutes. No, I'm saying in glory and hole was a shit performance. For glory against victory. Yeah, they were good until the last ten minutes. Exactly. That's a shit performance. I'd I'd rather Trent. I'd rather play shit for 80 minutes, mm-hmm. then play good for 10 minutes like victory and win a game. That's all I'm saying. You'd Wait, so you'd rather play good for 80 or good for 10? Good for 10 and win a game. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah. you're not wrong. Because, I mean, result, results yeah. matter. Results matter. Yeah. Now, so Stein, uh, against, against victory, Timmons came off. Oh, no, Timmons came off against City. Yeah. yeah Tr- Tim- it happened too, too long ago. We can't remember what happened. <laughs> Timmons came off against City after 30, yeah. it was like 33 minutes. He wasn't playing well. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't like this. I like it. I love it. Leave him to half time. This, em- this is embarrassing. Leave him to half time. Trent, we won 3 1. Who cares? You can't. Sub, sub he, up the whole, make all three subs in the fucking first half. If we win a game of football, Trent. Okay, I like how he makes his subs early. I like how he's rotating the team. But subbing yeah. someone off of 30 minutes, they shouldn't be starting if they're subbing Trent, someone off of 30 minutes. Trent, Trent. Who won the game? We won the game. I'm happy we won the exactly. game. Exactly. 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 Why are you mad at Garcia? I just hope Timmons doesn't get excommunicated. That's all I'm saying. No, that That's happens. Saying. Look at Steins. 
he got subbed off early in one game. Yep. Next game, he starts again. Scores Good. a goal. He played hope, the full game. I hope that continues. I hope that continues. And Trent, like the glory players know this. Like they had a game every 48 minutes. Yeah, but like, Timmons did not expect. Rotation. Timmons did not expect to get subbed off after 30 minutes. Maybe this is a new plan by Garcia Trent. Instead of waiting till the 60th minute, this is a new tactic where he makes a sub early on in the game. He does seem like a progressive coach, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, now, he's young has got ideas. Maybe that's one. T- we've we've seen Tando in goal, and he he's been good. You know, I, re- I reckon. He, yeah, he plays again this week. He's played about a thousand games on the bench, and you know what? It's his time. Can, can you play a game on the bench? Yeah, he's technically... I feel like I'd he say, hasn't played... I feel like the correct saying is he hasn't played a thousand games on the bench. No. Oh, he, I reckon you play... Because yeah. <laughs> you don't play a game if you're on the bench. I feel like you... No, I feel like you do play... Because he's been on the team sheet. On the bench. But he doesn't, he, he doesn't play, though. He warms up, though. That's not playing. He's got though. his kid on. He's in the team he tour. Doesn't, he doesn't play. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Now, I thought I was very happy about this, this game, Joe, because Nick Sullivan came on at right back. He played very well. Shout out to Nick. I hope he's watching. We had the podcast trio of Kilkenny, Steins, and Nick Sullivan playing in the same, on the same field. And I said, if, that, if those three can play, we'll get good results. You reckon? Um, oh, yeah. Well, it, it, it did happen. Yeah. So. <laughs> Am I saying paying off? You know, maybe. Um, did you see the bottle of... Uh, um, and, uh, well, I'm, I'm confusing this now. Um, yeah, Sandra term? bottle. Uh, yeah, I no. that. I'd love to see that. But what's the alcohol called now? It's not Armiento, is it? No, because the... Uh, Amaretto. Amaretto, that's it. Because Archie yeah. Thompson called um, uh, uh, Carl, Carlo Armiento Amaretto. Yeah, but yeah. Um, someone threw a bottle uh, after the third goal. After the third goal, yeah. That's Didn't what like I'd love that to all. see. Throw, people <laughs> need to throw more stuff at games. It creates more of an atmosphere. It becomes more hostile. I'd prefer like... I mm, I'd, like, I'd pre- like, like, I'm not saying doing it, but like coins. Like who <laughs> likes five cent pieces? I don't. Coins would hurt more than a bottle. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'd prefer no, Ross Alawisi off just, the bench. I'm, jo- I'm, I'm joking, by the way. You're Don't j- put coins at players. Yeah, I feel like th- throw a bottle on a coin. Yeah. Now, I'm not reading too many books about fans and you violent are, fans. But yeah. Violent fans you are. Now, we uh, can confirm Daggers can hit a ball. How many Kilkenny we set pieces? Confirm. I think he confirmed that a long time ago, Trump. How many Kilkenny set pieces and Daggers headers? Are we going to score this year? I think we've already scored. He's just back close. Three. The, the big, big centre backs need to mark daggers. Kilkenny's free kicks are insane. He's li- we've literally scored, I think, four or five goals off his free kicks. That's been a few nights. Nah, his set piece is good this year. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was Nick Sullivan's best game. Uh, Scott Jamison is dropped, surprisingly, the captain. I actually love, I have a big, huge soft spot for Scott Jamo. If you watch yeah. our Game of Two Halves, it's like this A League quiz show on YouTube. Yeah. Um, it's, check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, a few of our Patreons are right for the show as well, Tramp. They're right for the show. Yeah, is it hosted by Simon Hill? Surely you've seen it. Yeah, I've. I've um, I didn't didn't know they're right for the show, but yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good show. Um, yeah, Scott. Well, yeah, we, on we, that. we played Football Manager against Scott Jamison, Joe. If you yes, do remember, we did a shout out shout out to uh, the Jamo Tarts. <laughs> that's that's his team name on the, on the quiz show. Check it out. Um, but no, Glory played good. City had chances in the first 20 minutes with the McLaren, but... Um, yeah, I think they were disappointing. not though. make the difference. Yeah, I think they were disappointing. I was happy we held on to sort of see out the game. Castro looked... He looked good. He looked impressive. Um, I liked his addition he, to the he, team. I, he, I don't think he offered too much. I think one thing I liked about him is he didn't hold the ball up a lot. He actually drove forward. Um, and he tends to hold the ball up and dribble everyone. But I feel mm. like he actually... We actually, like, progressed with him in possession, uh, which I liked. Yeah, no, good on didn't, him. Didn't, didn't frustrate me. So that was the glory. Um, and was that all the games? Yeah, it was a much. Games. Yeah, it was a much needed win. It was a much needed win. Um, and I was quite happy by the end of it. I was, I was quite, yeah, Sunday Trent, Sunday uh, afternoon wasn't wasn't a great out day, but uh, happy the glory one. What's your one word to describe the whole round? Um, one word. One word. I'll include words with like a hyphen in the middle. Okay. Uh, it has to be recognized I, as one of those words. I think it's the, it's the amaretto round, Joe. To describe the whole round. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's the whole round. Yeah, well, if you gave me a phrase, I could have described it in it, the whole yeah. round in a phrase. No. Um, just a word. It's a bit you know, yeah. restricting. 
for me personally, uh, one word to describe the whole round, that would be a triple header because of the hyphen. <laughs> good job. Good. I want to see more triple headers. Is there one this Saturday? I'll always miss a game, inevitably. Oh, it's a double header this Saturday. <laughs> I'll inevitably always miss a game. Um, Wait, so that means it has to be a triple. Don't tell me there's two games on a Friday. All right, so let's look at this. There's one game there. There's two games on Saturday. And there's two. Why isn't one oh, team playing? Oh, there's a game, oh, there's game tomorrow. There's a game tomorrow. How lovely. Oh, is there? Yeah, four, four or five. Sweet. All right. Um, before we do finish up. Yes. We do need to give shout outs to our Patreons. We will, Joe. Um, Trent, what do you get if you join the Patreon? For two, just a little as two US dollars a month. Which as is little as two US dollars a month, Joe. You get exclusive access to the Soccer Podcast Discord. You get exclusive yep, podcasts that it does go off. A League Talk at Thor Sorry, before any, we did have a question from our podcast guest. Oh, yes, we did. Uh, not not guest, uh, from Richo. And he asked yes. us um, something along the lines of if Glory can stay over East. Is it better or do we ask M to come back? I think stay far away. No, I can come back because they miss their families and that's what matters in life, Trent. And football (laughs) is just a a corporate soulless world and need to do what's important in life. I think they've been away from their families long enough that they should just stay away at this point. I I think you're a soulless person, Trent. Interesting. Interesting. (laughs) Um, but yeah, so Patreon, you get to ask us questions and we'll answer them. Yep. You get shout outs on the podcast, which I'm about to do. There's secret podcasts as well, which are exclusive to the Patreon. Yeah. There's about 25 um, of those. Yeah. Oh, there's a, 21. Um, 21. 21. Yeah. Big ups. Michael Swallow, Adrian Benoza, Ben Miro, Neil Simons, Dusty, Ryan Robinson, Milan Kasari, Oscar Brotherson, Andy Tin, John Morris, Harry Russell, Harry... Dennis Fernandez, my guy, Ben Robson, Natasha Williams, Andrea, Jacob Colangelo, Jordan Waters, David Clark, Fraser Marnham, and Glenn Olivero. Is that right? Yes, Joe. It's the first time you said his name right. Yeah, because I always say like Oliviero. Oliviero. But, no. but he, he's corrected us earlier. Yeah. Um, now, yeah, that's episode 902 20. of the Soccer <laughs> Podcast. And it is, Joe. And I have to go to a, a technical Zoom meeting from my club at 7.30, so I've yep. got a minute, minute, for, minute to spare. For your Division 13 team? Yep. No so comment. teach you how to, how to hoof the ball along? No comment. I hit the crossbar on Saturday, Joe. I'll put it in the Discord. It's yep. good. No, it's good. C- c- congrats for not scoring a goal. <laughs> Joe, what did you do on Saturday? You know what? No, we're not doing this. No, we're not doing this. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Right. Cool. Anyway, Trent, um, leave it at that. You can end the call. I will end the call. Uh, I'll start recording, then I end the call. Yep, smart. Because I don't know what happens if that, yeah.